Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again. And I'm coming at you tonight with a, a long-awaited Laserdisc update. I know I've said in the past couple of videos that I had one coming up. And I was waiting because there was um, a couple of Laserdiscs that I bought that I was waiting on. And they all got here, so now we can do a Laserdisc update. And I know that this is going to come after all the Bruce and Brandon Lee stuff, but I actually recorded this before um, uh, Dragon the Bruce Lee story. But basically, I just wanted to do a different video to record, you know, and upload it at a later time, um, just to get it out of the way, you know, now. That way I don't have to worry about it. So uh, let's get started. Uh, first is two, three, four, five. Five Arnold Schwarzenegger movies that I got on Laserdisc. Um, the only ones that I have right now besides these is Last Action Hero, and I have two versions of Terminator 2. Um, so I want to get more because I love Arnold. Um, I love all these movies that I got, and um, I actually just watched the Red Band trailer for The Last Stand, and I'm so excited. The movie comes out next Friday. I'm definitely uh, going to try and see it opening night. Hopefully, you know, I have off work. And a bunch of my friends, hopefully we get to go and, and watch the movie like we did for Expendables 2. Um, so I'm really excited about The Last Stand. Uh, the Red Brand trailer that I saw was awesome. Um, so I cannot wait. But I got all these movies from, and then another, these movies, and then another laser disc that I'm going to talk about. I got all these from one guy because he had some really good prices. Um, which is great with laser discs. Cause I know a lot of laser discs are overpriced, like ones that aren't rare, like these aren't rare, you know. But I know a lot of the non-rare ones, you know, are pricey. And the guy also offered free shipping if you bought over thirty dollars worth of stuff. So he had all these for really cheap. I think the most expensive one was the new one that I bought, and then I got another movie that I wanted on laser disc from him. And, yeah, so I got a bunch of good ones. First up, I got Conan the Barbarian. There's the back. This one's cool because it's three sides, um, so it's two and a half discs, or uh, two discs, I'm sorry, yeah. Disc and a half, what I, that's what I meant to say. Um, three sides, and it's also got the trailer at the end of the movie, which is pretty cool. It's in widescreen. Um, love Conan the Barbarian. I know Arnold said he wanted to do another Conan um, where he's like older and stuff, which I'm down for. I'm definitely down for another Conan movie. I love Conan. Um, even the second one I really enjoyed. Um, I remember watching this on regular TV, like on UPN at my grandparents' house when I was a little kid. So yeah, that's Conan the Barbarian. Now this one, that was like $4. These were all like really cheap. This one was $10 because it was brand new. And I don't, I didn't mind actually paying $10 for it brand new on Laserdisc because... I love this movie. It's my second favorite Arnold movie next to Last Action Hero. Childhood favorite. I had the VHS when I was a kid. I have it on DVD, so I'm out, I'm, I figured get it on Laserdisc. And this one is the second release, and this one's actually more rare because it's in widescreen, which is why I got it. Um, so I got Commando. And on the back here, you get you know, all these great production notes, and you get some great pictures, and all this kind of stuff. Great artwork, which is one of the reasons why I collect laser discs. Um, I know I always say it, I love collecting laser discs because uh, there's still a lot of movies, some of them I'm going to talk about, which are not on DVD. Um, you get, you know, great artwork, you get all these great production notes and stuff, and they just, to me, they're really cool, and I think the format's really underrated. Um, and I'd rather have this than a Blu ray and, you know, that kind of stuff. You know. I don't mind having multiple copies of movies that I really like, you know, so that's Commando. Next up is uh, definitely my third favorite Arnold movie, and it's a classic, uh, Predator. This is the widescreen version, there's another, there's a full screen version. I like how it's green on the back, and you get all these production notes, and get some cool pictures at the top there. Predator. Next up is another Arnold classic, Total Recall. This is the widescreen version. Um, I try to collect the widescreen versions because uh, widescreen's better. You know, um, a lot of them are in full screen, unfortunately. But um, excuse me. 
if there's a widescreen version, I always try to get that. So. And the last Arnold movie I got um, is definitely another classic and a personal favorite. True Lies. This is the widescreen version. You get the back, and it's actually a gatefold. Well, this is another three side, two disc, because the movie is almost two and a half hours. There's the first flap, and I really like. I know you can't hear me. I hope you can or see me. I hope you can hear me. I like that one because you get a really cool picture of Arnold and Jamie Lee Curtis. But I love gatefold laser discs. I love how they open up like that, and you get all those cool pictures. So that's True Lies. Uh, next up is my favorite movie of all time. Finally got it on Laserdisc. Um, the DVD has been severely out of print, and it's extremely hard to find. So this will hold me over until I find a legitimate DVD of it, because I have a, I got a DVD-R of it, which I talked about in my DVD update. I got 29th Street on Laserdisc. Unfortunately, it is in full screen, but, I mean, it's better than nothing. You know, there is no widescreen Laserdisc. So that's 29th Street. And these next five um, is a series of movies that I really, really enjoy. And um, I try, one of my holiday traditions is to try and watch all the movies in the series. There's actually six movies in this series, but the first five are on, are on Laserdisc. The sixth one's not. Mm. Mm. Excuse me again. I'm terrible at this. But the guy had um, all five of these, and they were like, it was like 40 bucks for all five of them. And I figured, you know, what the hell, I'll just get them, and that way I have them all together. But I don't mind having, you know, I didn't mind paying that much for them. Um, so I got the first five Rocky movies. I got Rocky 1, which I really like this uh, picture of Stallone on there. Um, they've never used this one on... VHS or DVD. Um, I really like that picture of Sly. And you get the back. And these are like the first three, I think. The first two. Um, it's like a really early laser disc, so the quality is really not that good. But I mean, it's still cool to have. And like I said, I really like that picture that they used the Sly for the, uh, the, the cover. So that's Rocky. And Rocky 2, which uh, I've seen this picture before. And this one's actually two discs. It's three sides, which I thought was weird because the movie's only 119 minutes. It's not even two hours. And the first movie is, I think it's exactly two hours. Yeah, two hours and one minute. And that's only two sides. So they really crammed the, uh, the how much they could put on a side. And this one, they, they split it on three sides, which I thought was weird. But that's the front and the back. Then I got Rocky 3, which is a, a great one. I love Rocky 3. Rocky 2 is uh, very underrated in my opinion. Um, that's just me. That's just how I feel. But Rocky 3 is great. Then you, you gotta have Rocky 4, you know, the, the, the my favorite of the sequels, but um, my favorite is still the original. Um, but Rocky three and four are definitely action films, you know. It's that it's, it's that time. It was the mid the late or it was the mid eighties, you know. It was that time. But I love Rocky four. <sighs> Excuse me. And then I got Rocky five, and I've always liked Rocky five. I know most people don't, but I've always liked it. Never had a problem with it. Um, I do like the street fight at the end of the movie. I think the movie is underrated. I just think that the uh, the meaning of the film was lost um, when they were filming it and stuff like that, which I'll, I'm going to review these movies down the road eventually, do Stallone. I've always liked Rocky V, you know, so it was a good one. And next up are, well, the next three, the next three are not out on DVD. Um, the first two are from Jeff Speakman, um, which... Uh, John, a.k.a. Zero Cool 1389 just reviewed uh, a bunch of his movies. Um, this one I really enjoyed. Um, like I said, it's not out on DVD. And I got this one brand new, which I was really happy to get. And um, this one was really good. Um, it's probably my third favorite. Well, 
No, it's my second favorite, next to Perfect Weapon. Um, but I really like this one. I thought it was got some good fight scenes in it. Uh, I like the story. Jeff Speakman actually gets to act, you know, in it, which is nice. And same, well, I mean, he acted in Perfect Weapon. But, you know, that's always a good thing. And it's off Street Night, which I really like the, the cover for it. And there's the back. I love how at the top it says, The Perfect Weapon Returns. Um, it's just really a shame that Jeff Speakman did not really get the chance that he deserved in the movies. Um, he's more known for his martial arts, which is, you know, awesome, which is great. But, um, I mean, I wish he really had a, a uh, bigger movie career. But I love Street Night. It was a good one. And I got Perfect Weapon on Laserdisc, so I'm trying to get all those movies of his. So that one's not on DVD, and neither is this one. Now, this one, I've always liked it. Um, you know, I think it's a, I mean, it's a weaker entry, in my opinion, that he did. Um, I wish it had more action in it, but I like the the concept behind it. I like he's like a like a CIA agent, and he's like training cops, which is pretty cool. Um, and you get a cameo from Jim Varney, which is always nice. But this one, I wish it had more action in it. But I mean, overall, it was all right. I mean, I, I do like the movie, um, and the music, the score, I think is terrible. But other than that, I mean, you know, it was a good one. Uh, the Expert, which this is actually significant because not only is it not out on DVD, but it's in widescreen, um, which is nice. So it's nice to have this one. But like I said, I liked it. I mean, like I said, it's a little, it's weaker. I mean, but, you know, what are you, what are you going to do, right? So that's The Expert. And then this one is a movie with David Bradley from American Ninja that took over for Michael Dudikoff. Um, I saw this over the summer. I rented it. Um, I really liked the title of it. And I did like the movie. Um, I have it also on VHS, which I talked about in my VHS update. Um, the first 30 minutes are kind of boring. Uh, it's just kind of explanation kind of stuff. But once the action picks up, I thought it was a pretty good entry. Um, it's called Blood Warriors. And this is not out on DVD. And it's also directed by Sam Furstenberg, who directed uh, American Ninja 1 and 2 and Avenging Force. Um, so I like his style. I mean, I like his direction. I like a lot of the other movies that he's done. Those movies that I mentioned, I've always liked. And I like David Bradley. Um, he's another guy that never really got a shot. Um, I thought he was a, a good American Ninja. Um, I like American Ninja 3 that he's in. Um, I like... Four was all right. I mean, I, that movie should have been better. And I liked American Ninja Five, and um, I'm trying to see some more of his Cyborg Cop. I saw that one was all right. I mean, it really, I don't know. The title's kind of misleading, um, but I mean, it, it did have some good action at the end. And then um, I have American Samurai on my computer. I just haven't watched it yet because I have the uncut version because the DVD's edited, which is kind of weird, but. Uh, Blood Warriors was pretty good, and I have it on DVD-R. I made a DVD-R of it. Now I'm going to get into some Bruce and Brandon Lee. First one is a movie that you know I just reviewed with him. Um, this one is um, it's two discs. It is a special edition. It's in widescreen. Uh, it's got the movie on the first disc, both sides, and then the third side is all the extra features. So I got the uh, 25th anniversary special edition of Enter the Dragon. Now this has all the same extra features as the the DVD version, um, but this one is uh, actually the uh, one of the rare releases of Enter the Dragon. I think this movie was released on Laserdisc like four different times. This one was the last one, and it's kind of rare because that's when DVD took over 1990. Uh, Eight, I think it was this came out in 1998 so DVD had already taken over so people weren't weren't really collecting laser discs anymore but that's why I bought this because it, it was sort of rare and then the first release is rare um, I'm trying to get all the laser disc releases just to have them you know I don't mind it's enter the dragon um, but this has got all the same extra features um, I think it has a commentary as well um, but I don't know how to no it doesn't have a commentary I thought it did but um, it's got a documentary, it's got interviews with his wife, uh, backyard workout, uh, featurette, 
uh, theatrical trailers and TV spots. Um, so that's really cool how they did that with the discs. Like the first disc is the movie, and then the second disc, the one side is just all the extra features. I like how they split that up. But yeah, I don't mind having you know this on laser disc. It's Enter the Dragon. Come on, you know. And then this next one is a documentary that um, I really enjoyed. I talked about it in my documentary video. Um, it's not on DVD by itself. The only way to get it on DVD is if you buy the Enter the Dragon 2 disc special edition, which I have. I also have this on VHS, um, but I don't mind having it on Laserdisc. It was a really good documentary, had a lot of good interviews in it. Um, it's definitely, the, in my opinion, the second best and my second favorite of the Bruce Lee documentaries. Curse of the Dragon. Got a lot of great artwork on the back. Picture him and Brandon, uh, him and Chuck Norris, him and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You know, a lot of great artwork. And this one, I got this really cheap. It was like eight bucks with free shipping. You know, don't mind. I don't mind having it. You know, for the collection. And then next up is, it's actually a pretty significant laser disc. Um, it is a Brandon Lee movie, and. You know, this one I've always enjoyed, like, and I know I just reviewed it, um, well, I'm going to review it, sorry. Um, but I've always enjoyed this movie, and the reason why I got this particular laser disc is because it actually has more violence in it than the American version. This is not an American laser disc. Um, I watched it last night, and it only had a little bit more violence in it. Um, but I mean, it was worth it, you know, and I don't mind having it in my collection. I got it in pretty much brand new shape. I don't think the guy even watched it. Um, but I got the Japanese laser disc of Showdown in Little Tokyo. And this red strip here is called an OBI strip. They just kind of put it on the laser disc. And you get some great pictures on the back there. I mean, different, you know, better artwork than the American release. Like I said, it's got, uh, more violence. Um... In the scene where Carrie Tagawa cuts that girl's head off, you actually see like the head fall off a little bit. And then when they open up the body bag, you actually see a longer shot. And there's actually more nudity in the beginning party scene. Like you get to see some more titties, which is nice. Um, <laughs> and then at the end of the, not the end of the movie, but in the bathhouse fight, when Dolph Lundgren stabs that guy in the stomach, you actually see him stab him and then he twists the knife and blood comes out, which they cut out. But, I mean, just to have it for a little bit more violence is nice. And it's a Japanese laser disc. Um, it is in English, but it's got Japanese subtitles at the bottom. And it, the only crappy thing is it's in full screen. It's not in widescreen. But, you know, what are you going to do, right? You can't have your cake and eat it, too. But that's the Japanese laser disc of Showdown in Little Tokyo. You know, and it was pretty cool to get. Uh, next up is a Brian Bosworth movie. And I, I think this is his best movie. Um, it is out on DVD, but the DVD is out of print now, and it goes for, I've seen it go for like 50 bucks online, so I'm glad I have it. I have it on VHS, DVD, and Laserdisc, but I don't mind. I'm, I love this movie. Um, it did take me forever to see because it wasn't out on DVD for a long time, um, but I've always enjoyed this one, and it's just a fun 90s action film, and I can't wait to review I'm going to review all Brian Bosworth's movies. There's like, uh, I think just one more that I have to see. Um, I think Virus is the only one I have to see. Um, but I got Stone Cold. I mean, I love Stone Cold. Got a lot of good action in it. Um, you know, Lance Hendrickson's the bad guy. Can't go wrong with that. Just a fun movie. A fun 90s action movie. I don't mind having it on Laserdisc. So that's that one. Now, these next two... Um, I bought from a guy on eBay, and the first one's the one I bought, and the second one I got for free, and I didn't know I got it for free, because I opened up the box, and the second one, which I'll talk about more in detail, was sitting on top, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, did the guy screw up, and then the one that I bought was under it, so he threw in a free laser disc, which is cool, because that's never happened to me before. You know, and, and it was actually a movie I wanted to get on Laserdisc and a movie I really enjoy. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. You can see there are still nice people out there. But the first one, um, I've been trying to get this one. I, I was bidding on it on eBay back and forth, different, you know, different uh, ones. And I always kept losing. And this one, um, I bid on it and I actually, I actually won the bid, which was great. Now, it's not in the best shape, but 
the packaging, but the disc was in good shape. I watched the movie, it played fine, so, you know, like I said earlier, you can't have your cake and eat it too. But I got Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child. Now, the reason why I wanted to get this one is because it's the uncut version of the movie with more violence. Now, I have it on VHS, but I wanted to get it on Laserdisc, you know, because it's the, for collector's purposes. And I've always enjoyed this one. I don't know why people have a problem with it, to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah, that's the uncut version. So, I mean, I can't complain about that of Nightmare on Elm Street 5. And this one was the free one. Die Hard with a Vengeance, you know, and I love Die Hard with a Vengeance. It's my favorite one of the series. Um, there's the front, the back, and you actually, it's a gatefold. So it opens up, you get that, and that. It's uh, two discs, three sides. The only thing is side three is like only like the last ten minutes of the movie. And then it has the trailers for all three of the movies, which was pretty cool. And for free, I'm not going to complain. I mean, I love this one. It's my, definitely my favorite of the series. Um, cannot wait for A Good Day to Die Hard. I mean, it, it, all the trailers I've seen look good. Um, it, it's got CGI in it, but, I mean, I, I still think the movie's going to be pretty damn good. I'm an optimist. <laughs> so that's Die Hard with a Vengeance. For free, that's cool. Now, this next one is one that I bought from the guy that I got all the Arnold laser discs. Now, this is the uh, director's cut of the movie, which has never come out on DVD for some strange reason. Um, I heard a rumor because Disney used to own this company, they would not release unrated movies and stuff like that, which is a lie because other movies from this company, they released unrated. So I think it was just uh, them being lazy. But this is a horror movie that I've always enjoyed. Um, this is uh, my favorite of the series. Um... I do like the sequels, but I, I still think this one was the best one. Um, and I have the... This version also came out on VHS, <clears throat> which I have. And I didn't know that I had it until I looked it up and stuff. But, um, I mean, I don't mind having this one on Laserdisc. I've always enjoyed it. So I got Scream, which, like I said, it's the director's cut. It's got a little bit more violence in some of the death scenes. Um, but I don't mind having it. I've always enjoyed this movie. Like I said, it's my favorite of the series. I think it's the best one of the series. So yeah, I don't mind having this one on Laserdisc. So that's Scream. Now, the last three I wanted to save because they are Chuck Norris. Um, this one I actually did not know existed until I went on eBay. And I typed in Chuck Norris under Laserdisc. And this was the first one to pop up. And I got it brand new. Um, free shipping, and it's definitely one of my favorite laser discs because this is the only format this has come out on, and I think it's really cool. Like I said, I didn't even know that it was out until I bought it. Really, um, it's, like I said, it's definitely one of my most prized laser discs, and I watched it the other night, and, and it was really cool. You know, it was really cool. Um, the stuff that was on here, I really enjoyed it, and I cannot, you know. Cannot praise this one enough. It is the making of Invasion USA and Delta Force, two of Chuck Norris's best movies, in my opinion. Uh, it's one of like uh, Invasion USA is on the first side, Delta Force is on the second side. There's the back. It's really cool. Um, it's made by the same people who did the making of Missing an Action video that I have, um, and like they're only 22 minutes, but I mean, they're just really cool to see, like, making of and, like, why this stuff is not out on the Chuck Norris DVDs is beyond me. I mean, come on. You you mean to you mean to tell me that you can't get the rights to put this on a DVD? It's ridiculous. But, I mean, it was just really cool to see this kind of stuff. You know, you don't, you don't see that kind of stuff with Chuck Norris movies. Even here on YouTube, there's really not that much... Uh, that much kind of stuff on here, you know, with Chuck Norris, you know. So this was really cool. I'm really glad to have this one. Like I said, it, it's definitely one of my most prized laser discs. So that's that one. And then this one I just got in the mail yesterday. And this one is like one of his only movie. Well, it's his only movie that's not out on DVD here in America. Um, 
it came out in Canada for like a little bit, and then it um, it's like it's out in Germany, like of all places. So I'm actually thinking about buying a copy from Germany because I heard it's got extra features. So hopefully that's true. I don't want to you know waste my money for nothing. But I've always enjoyed this movie. It's definitely in my top five of Chuck Norris. It's one that I grew up with. Um, and one that I really enjoyed and um, Rambo Rap for Life, Matt just did his Q&A and I asked him about Chuck Norris and he said he enjoyed this movie too which I was surprised because I'd never heard him talk about this movie before but um, you know I, I got it on VHS and I have a DVD-R that I made of it um, but I don't mind having this one on Laserdisc at all like I said it's definitely one of my favorite Chuck Norris movies it was one of my favorites growing up Cannot wait to sit down and, and review this one because it's probably going to be a long review. But I got Sidekicks. It was brand new. I got it for like 22 bucks with shipping because I've seen this one go for like 60 bucks on Laserdisc because it's not out on DVD. But I, I got it at a good price, brand new. I just cut the side off, you know, and you get a lot of great production notes on the back and some really cool pictures. And I've always loved this movie. I mean, I love it. You know, it's definitely in the top five of Chuck Norris, you know, I, I love Sidekicks, and I'm probably going to watch it after I'm done doing this video. So that's Sidekicks, and then the last one with Chuck that I got is uh, one of his uh, last, uh, I don't know if this one, I think this one, um, I don't think this one went to theaters because I think um, they filmed the movie and for some reason um, they put it on hold. Like, I think because the Canon Film Group went out of business, I think that because of that, the movie was put in, like, limbo, and it, and it came out on, like, VHS only, like, directed v, direct VHS. Um, I think that's what happened to this movie, because I don't remember this one going to theaters um, when I was a kid. Um, but I've always, I, I, I knew about the movie growing up. Um, but I didn't see this one until I was, like, I think I was in... Uh, like a freshman in high school when I first... No, I don't think I was. I might have been. I can't remember. But um, I like this one. I have it on VHS and DVD. And I bought it from the same guy that I got Blood Warriors. Because he had... Uh, it was a lot. Um, it was this and Blood Warriors. And Blood, like I said, that one wasn't on DVD. And this one, it's Chuck Norris, you know. So I got Hellbound. Um, now you'll see like a glare. Like I... Like, showed out a little Tokyo. It's in a sleeve, but then it came with another sleeve for some reason. So I just took that, the other one, and put it on this. Um, but I like Hellbound. Um, I like how Chuck Norris is doing a little bit of horror, a little bit of sci-fi, like Silent Rage. You know, he's fighting demons. That you know, That's pretty cool. I've always liked Hellbound. Um, so that's that one. And that's my laser disc update. I know i got a bunch of them, a bunch of good ones. Um, so that's probably going to be... The last bunch of ones I get for a little while. So I'm trying to save money and stuff. Because uh, my friend, my just hung out with my friend. And he told me that his roommate is like moving out. So I might move in with him. Um, you know, maybe not. We'll see. Um, maybe we'll get a good deal. I don't know. But that'd be cool to live with him and stuff. He's a good guy, my friend. So I don't know. We'll like got to save money. You know, I just got my license back. So I'm trying to get a new car and stuff like that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this Laserdisc update, and uh, stay tuned. Who knows what I'm going to do next. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see ya.